counting down my top five Taiwanese dramas of late 2015 to 2016. January into February, that is. It's a new year of dramas that might not be subbed. Thirsty something. <laughs> it's 30 something, not thirsty something. Starring Brian Chang, he goes the whole way to Taiwan where he meets Vivian Sung in his family's hometown. Well, what I think is a family's hometown. Anyways, they uncover family secrets and hopefully the secret family recipe. This reminds me of like Bush's baked beans in that stupid commercial. <laughs> With Shushi Kai and Sha Queen? Kimmy. Kimmy. Brian Chang's father falls into a coma. Well, this one's not technically new, it's already out. It is airing through April and it stars. And? and it was good. Something happened like once Korea started going up in drama land, it's like Taiwanese dramas, like. This fell off. Yeah. But see, there's so many other factors that go into it that we don't even think of. Like, for example, Japanese dramas were really great until the big earthquake and the nuclear meltdown and the state of crisis that their country was thrown into. And they still, like, they're, they're coming back out of it, but they haven't fully done that. Taiwan, you know, what's Taiwan's relationship with China? How has it changed? Does anyone pay attention to that? Not too many people. 